In this quick five minute video, I'm gonna show you five Canva Pro Tips that will become a regular part of your design toolkit going forward. Hi, welcome back to Canva Corner. I'm Matt with WBNL Coaching and thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. So, let's get to work and start the clock to the computer. All right, clock is ticking, so let's get to work. The first thing I want to talk about today is something that I just recently found, although it's been on Canva for a while, it's how you can actually add a Google Maps into your design. Let's jump right in. If you go right down here to the three dots, the more, and you're going to see a place that says Google Maps. Click on Google Maps. If you want to search for something, let's, let's look for a place, um, top of the world. Let's click on that. Treat it as an image in your in your um, design. So you can move it around. If you click on it, you can actually uh, go in and you can make it smaller, larger, whatever you want to do. So you can get really, really granule on how you might want to add that into your design. So that's number one way to uh, do Google Maps. Another way to do Google Maps, and I um, have started to use this a little bit more frequently in some of the designs I'm, I'm doing, is add Google Maps to a QR code. I know often when we're doing QR codes, we're sending them to our website or you know like restaurants now ever since covid have been sending them to menus uh, but you can use a qr code to actually give someone directions as well so it's a great thing to put on a property flyer if you're a realtor so once again go down to the more section go to the qr code um, uh, section here i actually have already um, done this exact same uh, google search for this google map in uh for uh, top of the world and it'll generate a qr code that will take you right to that page on google maps if you want to see how that works scan that qr code right now boom take you to top of the world number two is video editing once you have your video completed uploaded into canva put it into your design. You can treat it just like any other element or image in here, but if you want to edit your video down so it's a little bit more concise or maybe a little shorter for you there, go up to the scissors, click on that, and then go over to wherever you want to drag. You can drag from either end here and you um, uh, can drag it to the timestamps that you want it to be edited to. Let's see, we're going to bring this down, just make this a really short little thing here. Click done. And now your video is just a few seconds long. Easy peasy. Number three is embeds. This is the perfect thing to do if you're doing a presentation. You want to add a, a video or you want to add something from another source into your presentation that while you're giving your presentation, you can stop and actually, like for example, play a video. So I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to embed a video that I did here, an old Canva corner, into my presentation. So once again, we go down here to more. We're going to go up here to embeds. And then you have a lot of different places you can actually do this from. I'm going to um, I copy the URL from my Canva video there on YouTube, punch it on in there. I'm going to add that to my design. Boom. There you go. So while you're actually presenting, you can click on this. The handy checklist that will help you build it plays your, your video across the spectrum. What of a great tool. Social. Tip number four is photo color match. Uh, I have uploaded a photo here. It's a picture of me hiking in Yosemite. This is actually on the Loop Trail in Yosemite Valley. And I want to actually change this text color to kind of match what the color theme of that um, picture is. I mean, you could go through in there and you could kind of kind of eyeball it yourself. But I love Canva because if you do that, you go up to just simply changing colors on the video. It's going to see your uh, photo colors here. It's going to take your photo. It's going to give you a whole little palette of colors to change your photos to. So let's change this to that green. Let's change the blue down here to one of the other colors in there. Let's take this brown. And then it's in two easy steps. We've made the whole thing match and look very good together. Tip number five is styles. If you watch me at all on my videos, you know that I like to a lot of times start with templates that are already in Canva and then go back in and start changing them into something else. Kind of deconstruct and reconstruct them back. Here is a design that's got a lot of different colors going on on it. If you go over to styles over here in your left menu, 
there's all sorts of styles and fonts that you can uh, change change your designs around to. So, you know, this has got a lot of primary colors. Let's switch so you can really get a good idea of what this really looks like. Let's switch it to something that's really different. Uh, let's go down here to this uh, Glacial Indifference. That's kind of a different style. It's going to go in and it's going to change all the colors to the Glacial Indifference palette there. So all those primary colors just went away. If you go back down to Glacial Indifference in your design, there's a little word here called Shuffle. Click on that and it takes the colors and it moves them around. Right, so you can click, keep clicking till you find something that you kind of like. Now, I kind of like that lighter one in the background, so you know, I'm just gonna stick with this. Obviously, there's a trillion choices in here, like there is with everything in camp. If you like what you've heard today, make sure that you smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. We'll see you next time in the Canva Corner.